and it shows on my arm. Some of my cells send it all to the surface. Some keep it around the whole cell, some shrink it in the middle, and in some it's disappeared altogether. Yeah. Now, that's what's happened in the human race. We have not gone black because we went to Africa. No. The people were black before they got to Africa. People were white before they got to Europe. In fact, if you look at the world today and you find, try and ask what percentage of black people there are, what percentage of white people there are, what percentage of brown people there are, you get a very intriguing answer. There's roughly 25% of the world is black, 25% of the world is white, and the rest are somewhere in between. in between. Now go back to Noah. Noah and Shem. No colour in their name at all. Implication, whatever colour Adam was, that was normal. They were that colour, somewhere in between. Ham, darker. Japheth, fairer. Now you're good at maths. There's four men there who dominate the families. One is black, one is white, and two are middle brown. What percentage are black? 25. Uh-huh. 25% white and the rest are in between. Yeah, and nothing has changed since. It doesn't, doesn't look to, like religion has all to do with science, exact science. But yeah, it doesn't, unfortunately. It, it, it should, right? So what, what people should say is God was there, he doesn't lie, yeah. and this is history. Exactly. Science is supposed to deal with, with test tubes in the present. Science is not equipped to deal with history. If evolution would be true, yep. for how many centuries you've been in, in Australia, uh, Europeans? Um, two and a bit. Okay, uh, how many uh, white uh, people like you are, how many of them turned, evolved into being black because of the conditions, because of the sun? Because this is what <coughs> we were taught, yes. that some people, uh, when I got off the tree, lost their hair, and as they went <laughs> up north, they stayed white because yes. there was, wasn't much sun. As they went south into Africa, the sun burned them that much that even their children got cooked, so they stayed black. Uh, Australia is one of its kind of, none of those whites turned into being black and no descendants. Uh, you will find that what happened to the Europeans, if they started out pink skinned in Scotland, they got even pinker in Australia because they were getting sunburned badly. Interesting. And so they have the highest death rate from skin cancer yes, in the world. That, and likewise, when you explore the evolutionary theory, and the Bible does tell us to prove things, right? Yes. You find out the story that says you got your colour by evolving or adapting is simply false. Yes. The Eskimo people are brown. Yes. Now, today it is so cold in Alaska, yes. you can't go brown. You can go blue <laughs> and die of the cold, but you can't go brown. Yes. So therefore, even the evolutionists have been forced to admit they were brown before they got to Alaska. Mm. Funny though, they haven't changed since they got Not there. And if you look at the crossbreeding of marriages today, you begin to find the real truth. Colour has got nothing to do with the environment, nothing to do with evolution, because particularly in America we've seen intermarriage between the races. Yes. You start out with one dark black African, one blue-eyed blonde Norwegian European, and they get married. They have children which are neither black nor white. Yes. They have children which are middle brown. I've seen exactly the case in Finland. Yes. Exactly. And if you then take those middle brown children, and they marry other middle brown colored children, they just don't have brown children. They have children which are any one of 13 different shades from Snow White, not on the one child, yes. just for <laughs> different children, right? Uh, Snow White all the way through to jet black. And then a most intriguing thing happen. If you take the white ones and separate them out, and they're only allowed to marry white ones, from then on they stay white. And if you take the black ones, and they only marry black ones, from then on they stay black. But then, this is what the Bible says happened. We started out with Adam, one colour. Mankind went from good to bad to worse. We degenerated. Our skin controls broke down. The whole picture of the Bible is that way, right? Mm. By the days of Noah, some people were producing too much pigment at the top. Some people, the pigment was all sinking into the middle. And 50% still had the right stuff. And then you separate them. Mm. Right. From then on, they can't intermarry until Captain Cook sails around the world and we begin to get airliners and mix them all up. So all the evidence we've got tells us that man doesn't come from an ape-like creature in Africa. We come from the man Adam who was created by God and accountable to God. And as his descendants, we have inherited that legacy. We are made in God's image and therefore we are accountable to the God whose image we are made in. As we came to this very um, serious subject, 
We talked in a previous program about Jesus being mm -hmm. the uh, Ark of Salvation. Can we consider Noah himself as being some kind of pre-type of Christ for, um, for Christianity? Now we know a lot, more a lot of what creation is for Christianity. How do we have to think about Christ in light of Noah? Well, perhaps, perhaps we can put it this way. You see, if I'm coming from Europe where we've had Christianity for 2,000 years, and I'm going to the Solomon Islands where they never saw a white man before 1930, right? Yeah. And I'm trying to t tell them about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus Christ is the last half of the story. Mm -hmm. First of all, I have to show them how, look, what I'm saying is for all mankind, mm -hmm. not just white man. This is not white man saying black man has to do what white man says. This is the fact that white man is descended from Noah, black man is descended from Noah, and Noah knew about God's judgment. Mm. So therefore, back through Noah, you and I, black man and white man, black man, white man, brown man, Chinaman, Indian man, we all have the same ancestor, Adam, and Adam left us with a problem, a problem called sin. Big problem. And Jesus Christ is the final solution to that little problem of sin. And it's not just for white man, it's for black man, it's for brown man, it's for all mankind because all mankind is descended from the first man, Adam. You have several video documentaries you've done all around the world. Uh, yes, in this series we did the history of man, the origin of the races and the one you, I mean the real roots one and the, you have the origin of the races in your hand. There were people telling you that they have solved their own anti-Semitic and all kind of uh, weird nationalistic problems by just watching these videos. Well, the nicest one was a lady who said, we were going to adopt children, but we were Europeans and the only children available were from Hong Kong and we just couldn't cope oh, with yes. that until we saw your video and we realized we're all the one family oh, the and we need to be the one family of God. Oh, praise so that was, now she has 12 children, I think, and they're all from different races Beautiful. around the planet Beautiful. and she's bringing them up for Christ. Beautiful. This is the peace and the understanding and the, the peace of mind of the gospel, uh, the whole of the scripture based in the creation uh, brings to all Christians, mm -hmm. ultimately to all those who want to get on this our ark of salvation with yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, dear viewers, listeners, if you've been blessed by our program, if you think such um, programs would help you, we would love to know from you. We would love to assist you in getting these programs, um, much more programs than just this one. Uh, if you are interested in uh, um, asking these, please do contact us. We have a very easy email address. It's info at creationresearch.net. We can provide you... Uh, uh, this cassette tapes DVD in the near future um, also we have an email newsletter that you can ask please we have a, a Romanian printed version of these uh, newsletters again they you just better tell them the email address again yes uh, you just have to write us at info at creationresearch.net and we will be very pleased to assist you Mr. Mackay, thank you so much for being with us today. I can't wait to, uh, to have a, a next discussion with you. I hope you'll enjoy our program. Please join with us in the next program of exciting news about the verdict of science, the verdict of the Bible is creation. Have a very blessed day. Thank you so much.